camp here at St. Thomas Sports Park means it's time for the Titans training camp report fueled by Gatorade. I'm Amy Wells, joined by Mike Keith. Mike, lots of conversation about money and the offense today. Let's start with number 77, Taylor Lewan signed a contract extension today. How important is this for this Titans team? It's huge in so many different ways. Number one, it means the discussion of it's over. We move on to the business of getting ready for the 2018 season. And number two, the guy earned the money. The guy earned the respect. The guy earned this opportunity to be the highest paid offensive lineman in the NFL. It sets a good standard overall in that locker room. You perform, you do the job, you get paid. Another person who has earned a contract extension here, Delaney Walker. He just signed an extension with the team. In terms of a sign of respect, how important was this to his relationship with the team? It's huge. And it says in year 13, at 34 years old, even though you were due to be paid pretty good money, and we've paid you pretty good money before, you're a three-time Pro Bowler, you're a leader in the off-season program, you're a leader on the field. We count on you in every way, shape, and form for the Tennessee Titans, and so we want to pay you to a level that matches where you stand, not only in our locker room, but in the National Football League. Again, like Taylor to one, it's an important statement for a team that is ascending that their best players get paid. We did more than just sign contracts today. There was actually practice out on the field, and it seems like a real redemption day for this Titans offense. What did you see out of them in their response from yesterday? Well, the two offensive guys get paid, and the offense looked like they were motivated by the enthusiasm uh, from inside the building. It carried on out here. I thought the passing game looked a lot more crisp today. Corey Davis and Marcus Mariota got on the same page. Several nice plays by Corey Davis in this practice. Just an outstanding effort from him. I thought the offense gave it back to the defense today. Defense still had some good plays. Jayon Brown with an interception at the goal line. Kevin Byard with an interception. But the offense fought back. And as we head to pads tomorrow, that's how you want it. All right, as Mike Keith just said, pads tomorrow, 9.50 a.m. right here at St. Thomas Sports Park. We love the first day of pads, and you don't want to miss it, and it's free. So come on down. We'll see you tomorrow. For TitansOnline.com, he's Mike Keith. I'm Amy Wells, and this is the Titans Training Camp Report. Feels like it.